We want to pray this morning and thank Jesus, thank the Lord so much because Donald Trump has made the presidency and it's, it's such a blessing for the United States of America. Somebody that again is pro-life, pro-Israel, pro-safe borders, pro-police officer, pro-firefighter, pro-American. We love Donald Trump. Hopefully he'll get that pipeline opened up again. We'll get gas prices down. All those wonderful things. Uh, Paul said, rejoice evermore. Pray, notice this, pray without ceasing and in everything give thanks. But this is the will of God concerning Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus concerning you. So his desire, God's desire is to pray without ceasing. And you notice we were praying, the country was praying, all the Christians were praying for this to happen, for Donald Trump to make it into uh, the, make it into the presidency, make it into the White House. God answered our prayers again, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their, I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. And so understand we need to be praying even more so, uh, especially the next couple of months when he's president-elect, but he's not actually in office. And we don't know what's going to come our way. Um, it could be a very trious time. We remember the first time that Trump was in office and how much attack there had been upon him and things in our nation. We need to be praying. We need to be praying for a spiritual awakening in our country. We need to be praying for revival in the church. This is not a time to relax. Here, God's given us a, a, a furlough, if you will, of another four years. Uh, but he, understand everything's in his control. And we need to align our hearts with God and what he wants to do and how we can pray for our president, how we can pray for our nation, how we can pray and continue to pray for uh, revival and people around us getting saved. That's the most important thing. Eternity is all that matters. Thank the Lord that we live in a wonderful country of the United States of America where there is a liberty and a freedom, justice for all kind of thing. Uh, but we also know that there have been those, there still are those that want to destroy our Constitution. We need to be praying, friends. We need to be seeking the Lord with our whole heart. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, this is the time. Today is, is the best day to get saved, to ask Jesus Christ to come into your life. This is the day of redemption, so call out upon the name of the Lord. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. As many as received him, to them he gave the power to become children of God, even to them that believe on his name. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son. Whoever believes in him should not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Surrender your life to Jesus. That's the most important thing, and please pray. If you didn't have a, a much of a prayer life before, we need to amp up the ante with our prayer myself included. Let's pray. Pray and seek the face of God and, and, and again continue to repent from our sins and turn our ways unto the Lord and pray for our nation. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.